So I think UPAC, um, it's really sort of a, a student service organization and really a resource for students and student orgs. Uh, who want to put on programs, go on travel experiences, buy equipment, uh, put out media publications, things like that, uh, for anyone at University Park. So I really see us as more of a service organization uh, and a resource for students to use. This is kind of a funny story, actually. Um, so I wasn't involved in very much my first semester of freshman year. Um, and so I, I sort of made this resolution going back for the second semester that I'd want to join more things. Um, and as I... As I got into it, the first few weeks, I saw a friend of mine from a, a class I took first semester tabling in the hub for UPAC, um, and I, I asked him what it was, and I, I sort of almost decided that I would like courtesy apply. Um, and when I applied and, and I learned more about it, I thought this it was just like the coolest thing. I, I had this opportunity uh, to do something important at Penn State, sort of make a difference and actually get involved, uh, not to mention do something with my friend. Uh, so it was sort of a, a great opportunity on both ends. and. The more time I've spent, the more I've gotten involved, the more I've come to love it. So I grew up in Bucks County, about 40, 45 minutes outside of Philadelphia. So um, Penn State was very much a part of my, my culture growing up. My dad went here, many relatives went here. Um, so I think as I sort of started the college process, I knew I wanted to be an engineer. Penn State, obviously a great engineering school. So it was sort of near the top of my list the whole time. There was definitely a part of me as I got sort of towards the end of the process that wanted, uh, wanted me to go somewhere else, like off the beaten path. Um, but it really just came down to, I was so much more familiar with Penn State. I, I knew some of the people, I felt like I knew the campus really well, I knew the culture. Um, so in the end, other things being equal, I felt like I was more comfortable here. So this can kind of go everywhere, um, there's a lot. So as UPAC chair, one of the things I do is I, I read, review, um, and preview all the budget requests that we get. So we usually get somewhere around 850 a year. I'll read them all, um, make sure they're all complete, and then sometimes recommend funding, sometimes send them to committee. Uh, I chair our larger meetings, so our policy meetings and standing allocation meetings. Um, and then I, I sort of act as a face for UPAC as well, meeting with media, things like that. I sit on the student fee board as a non-voting member, and I go to student leadership roundtable meetings. Um, and one of the sort of favorite things that I get to do is I act as a, um, a point of contact for requesters. I, I really enjoy sort of being able to talk directly with people who request money from us, even though um, I can be really busy and have a lot to do. I really enjoy spending time in our office and being able to sit down and talk through budgets with uh, the people who we work with. Yeah, so I mentioned earlier that I think we're, we're really a service organization and a resource for people. Uh, and I don't think you can be a really good service unless you're accessible to people. Uh, so I want to spend this year really focusing on uh, making things easier for the people we work with, for the students and student orgs who request money from us. Um, I want to make our process more transparent, less cumbersome, um, things along those lines so that we can really, really uh, feel like we're helping more students. Um, yeah, because I, re I really feel like if you're a, a service org and you're not looking to improve and not looking to make it easier for people to get service from you, then you're not doing things correctly. Yeah, so this is a funny story. Um, I was in uh, our advisor's office with one of our advisors and the, the chair at the time. Um, and when they told me, you could tell how excited they were. They were like ecstatic, they were smiling. They said, congratulations, we'd love to offer you the position of UPAC chair for the next year. Uh, and I stood there with like a blank, fla blank face. I was like totally flat faced, like petrified. Um, and <laughs> you could tell they were kind of like taken aback by that a little bit. Um, but the advisor said, uh, it's okay, take a second, gather your thoughts, you know, things like that. Um, and after a second, I was so, so excited. I couldn't stop smiling. I thanked them both a ton. I said, um, you know, I'm so, so excited to get started, ex excited to get started. Uh, and I, I even asked the chair, when's the first time that we can meet and get started on, on transition stuff and, and me learning. Yeah, so I think my favorite thing about Penn, uh, being a Penn Stater has to do with all the opportunities that we have. Um, being UPEC chair, I really get a chance to see a lot of all the different things that go on on campus. Um, people putting on programs and, and going abroad to different travel um, experiences, putting out publications, building things with all these crazy equipment, stuff like that. Um, and I think those opportunities are incredible, but I think a lot of colleges can claim that they give students 
those kinds of opportunities. What strikes me about Penn State is uh, how amazingly well the students use those um, resources. Uh, I'm, I'm really proud to be a Penn Stater because I see the, the pride that all these students put into the programs and the travel experiences uh, that they participate in. Yeah, so I haven't had a ton of time this year to be involved in other things. Um, I like to keep up with sort of the other things going on in student governments and student organizations. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I'm a, I'm a non-voting member on the Student Fee Board. I'm a member of the Student Leadership Roundtable, so I talk with those people as well. Um, yeah, that's, that's really what it is for me right now. Last year, I was involved in undergraduate research for the Industrial Engineering Department. Um, I spent time researching uh, new ways to measure electrical impulses in the heart and ways to use those uh, new measurements to identify people who are at risk for heart attacks. Uh, so now that that's over, I have a little bit more free time, um, but right now I'm really just sort of enjoying being UPAC chair and, and learning along with it. Seriously, it's just talk to us. Uh, come into the office, talk to us. Um, it, it seems like such an interesting and fun organization when you hear, oh, there's this group that like gives away three and a half million dollars. Um, if you come talk to us, you'll understand that's not why we're here. Um, that's not why anyone is on the committee. Seriously, just drop by our office and, and sit down with anyone and talk to them and you'll understand that everyone here on the committee uh, really, really has, has a deep understanding of the fact that we're here to enhance student life at University Park. Um, if you feel like that, that fits your profile, if you're really interested in that and you agree with those kinds of values, uh, there's an application on our website, upac.psu.edu, uh, shameless plug there. Um, if you fill that out, you'll get an email from me in the next couple days and then we can sit down and value shit on the committee. Yeah, so this is definitely going to be the most obscure answer you're like ever going to get for this question. Uh, growing up, uh, my mom used to read me this, chi this like childhood book called Danny and the Dinosaur, which probably not many people have heard of unless their name is Dan. Um, and it's basically about this little kid who goes on this museum trip when he's young. Uh, and he sees this dinosaur that like, comes alive, this huge yellow dinosaur. And they spend the day together uh, going and like eating ice cream and going to the zoo and going to baseball games. Uh, so I guess if I was to pick a dinosaur to be, I would want to be that dinosaur from the story because what dinosaur wouldn't want to go to a baseball game and eat ice cream? Thank you.